What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. If you are new to this channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and also make sure you follow all the social media links in the description box below. Follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok, and also follow my web show centered around mental health um, on Instagram and TikTok and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Everything is linked down below. If you are a returning subscriber, what's up gang? You already know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm sorry about my last y'all. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let's get into the video. As y'all can tell by the title, I got some, I got some little tea to spill. Uh, let me go get my wine cooler, y'all, cause you know we. This is a little sip and a little sip chit chat, so I'm gonna go get my wine cooler. Not gonna lie, it's almost halfway done, but it's okay, cause I'm gonna drink it. So I really want to give you guys a update in regards to my last video. I do want to be honest and be very transparent with you guys. Um, I have not been happy for quite some time. I have been depressed for a minute now. And I wear it well, but just because I wear it well does not mean the crown isn't heavy. I'm going to say that again. Just because I wear it well does not mean the crown is not heavy. I've really been feeling stuck. I've been feeling complacent. Um, it pretty much all happened ever since I had my car accident. It was never about the car. It was about, you know, what I went through mentally because in that moment, I remember telling this to my mom in that moment, I felt like I couldn't have anything because I felt cursed. I'm like, man, I just worked so hard three months later, got into a car accident and you know, now I don't have my car. And I'm saying all this to say, I have just not been feeling like myself lately. So um, I do want to talk about some updates and some, you know, things that I'm going to be changing about my life and just things that I just have ahead of me in the future. So let's just go ahead and get in into it. So the first thing that I do want to talk about is me attending Yale University online. I did sign up for a six weeks course, Intro to Psychology because I really wanted to be able to provide factual information when I am speaking about mental health because what works for me might not work for everyone. And yes, I do have a target audience when it comes to Out Loud, but I still wanna make sure I'm using the correct terminology. I still wanna make sure I know the basics because yes, I'm creative when it comes to Out Loud. Yes, I'm telling my story and my experiences on mental health, but I wanna be able to really expand my knowledge and expand the horizons in general when it comes to out loud i feel like the more i learn about psychology and the way the brain works and the way other people work and how they perceive things the more i can actually push out content and actually have different topics to talk about so yes i am taking a six weeks course this summer um with the L university and i'm super super excited about it. it is during the summer but it's okay i am educating myself on the topic so i'm very very proud of myself for making that step it has been a year since i've graduated today it's may 13 i think i graduated last year on may 14 so it has been an exact year since i graduated taking a step towards my purpose I'm taking a leap of faith and I'm just trusting God. As I said in my last video, you guys know that I was undecided on if I wanted to stay in Atlanta or if I just wanted to pursue a new city. You guys, I have just decided to not renew my lease. So I will be leaving um, this apartment by the end of the month. So I probably got about two, three more weeks in this apartment. And basically, Everything really started with me. As y'all know, like I quit my job back in February. I quit my job um, at the beginning of February. And y'all, I have, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give myself a round of applause and a pat on the back because I was able to manage quitting my job back in February and still having enough money to sustain me through my lease. So, no love lost here. It is a bittersweet thing. I have been in Atlanta for five years i moved here when i was 18 and you guys i've done everything here i went to school here i worked in the clubs here i met a lot of people here i even started to get into my career in acting and media here and i'm not saying i'm never going to come back to atlanta but i feel like right now while my lease is up 
and I don't have a stable job, I feel like right now is the perfect time for me to just experience something new. I do want to go back home, see my family. I haven't seen them in a minute. And I also want to travel this summer, but we're going to get into that later. One of the, another reasons why I decided to not renew my lease is because I was trying to, I was throughout my whole three months of not having a job, I was actively trying to find a job. Of course, it's a little bit harder because I don't have my car at the moment. So I've been Ubering and lifting to different places, wasting money, going to different interviews, not getting a job, not getting a job. Finally got a job about a couple of weeks ago. Worked one day. I had started my period, y'all. I started my period and I kind of was a little moody. I ain't, I, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little moody. They did tell me that they were not, they were firing me. I had to wait until a whole week and I'm like, hey, I haven't received a schedule. What's going on? Come to find out the girl who hired me, really, she didn't really want me to work there in the first place. Not that she didn't want me to work there, but she said, you know, we are a smaller establishment, which it was. It was a smaller lounge and like bar type of place. And y'all know I'm used to big clubs, strip clubs. You know, I'm used to like all of the, you know, popping clubs here in Atlanta. You know, that, but that doesn't mean I'm not used to working in small establishments. I started working in Buffalo Wild Wings and Hooters. So nothing is, is, you know, difficult for me. So she texted and basically was like, hey, you know, I wanted to reach out. We liked you, but you know, we don't think this is gonna be an establishment for you. So then, you know, I text her and I'm like, hey, I understand that, but I do need a job. And she was like, well, somebody decided not to come so you could take her place. So I came in, I worked that one weekend. Like I said, I started my period and you know, I was a little moody. It was an African place and um, I've worked with Africans before, but this is like a real like African Afrobeat type of place. And you know, I don't think the owner liked me. Um, he probably thought I was rude, but he was a man. He didn't understand I was on my period. I did explain to the girls that hired me what the issue was. And they was like, you know, it's not their call. He just, you know, he, he he said you were staying offish and you were on your phone. It was literally nothing for me to do. Y'all, I had a party. They wasn't spending no money. I was helping other people out. And it just wasn't nothing for me to do. And I was on my phone. And then she said something about hookah. And I'm going to probably insert screenshots too. She said something about you, me being on hookah. Baby, I didn't even make the hookah to smoke. I wasn't the only one smoking hookah. So what's really the issue? So I was just like, you know what? I'm not even gonna do too much about that job because they did share gratuity tips. So whatever you made in cash and on cash out, you get to keep. But whatever the house make as gratuity, because it is a small place, you did have to share the gratuity tips and split it among who, uh, split it amongst whoever was working the bar and the floor. And um, it was only like four, four. How many? It was probably like three or four of us that had to split them. I think it was only three. So, I mean, in actuality, it still worked out, but it's still, I'm not with that splitting tip shit because it was one girl, she was running bottles and I didn't have any bottles that night, nor did the other girl. So I ain't gonna lie, she was mad. And I would've been mad too, cause I'm like, I'm selling all these bottles and I gotta split my tips with y'all. So, you know, I found that as, you know, God's protection, you know, from that job. So I said, okay, cool. I'm gonna let that job be. So I ended up finding another job that was way closer. So I'm like, okay, cool. The Uber and Lyft prices is not gonna be too much. I'ma just, you know, go here. They were only looking for bartenders, but I did send them a DM and they told me to come in. And I'm like, hey, I know y'all looking for bartenders. Did you still want me to come in? They didn't respond to the DM. So I called the next day and I'm like, hey, I did DM y'all. Y'all told me to come in for an interview, but I want to be sure before I spend my money to go to this, you know, interview, I want to make sure that y'all are looking for servers. She said, yes, just come on in. So I came in, I did my interview. Um, she said they was going to call me back. They didn't call me back, but she said, if we don't call you back, call us back. So I called them back and she was like, okay, cool. Come in for training Tuesday and Wednesday. I come in for training Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm happy I got the job. I said, you know what? I'm going to come in here with the best attitude. I'm not going to smoke no hookah. I'm not going to be on my phone. And I did really, really good. The first day I made like $50. I was helping, you know, shadowing something else. So she, I was shadowing somebody else. So she was basically telling me to like, you know, you know, take the orders. And she was showing me how to do things. So I ended up getting tipped out that night. And um, I came back the next day. I was a little under the weather, but I was still talking. I was still being myself. I was still being bubbly. Gave me a free training meal to me. And you know, the guy, the girl who hired me came to me. This at the second place. You know, um, I'm gonna let you go home early. It's not really much going on today. 
I'm thinking everything good. She was like, I'm gonna call you tomorrow and let you know when to come back. It, in the next day or the next couple of days, it was Cinco de Mayo weekend. So I'm like, okay, they might be busy. So the next day was, I had left on that Wednesday. The next day was Thursday. I texted her. Let me see if I can show y'all. Uh, so I texted her and I said, I texted her on Cinco de Mayo. I said, hey, what days do I come back to work? She told me she was gonna let me know the next day. The next day was Thursday. So Thursday came around, she didn't say nothing. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna text her on Friday. Friday came, I text her, she didn't say nothing. Saturday came, I was like, cool. Maybe they just had a busy weekend, whatever. So Saturday, she didn't say nothing. So Sunday, I text her, I'm like, hey, I know you said it was gonna be a busy weekend, but I need to know when can I come back to work. Y'all, this next message really broke my heart. She said, hey, Jakira, during the training process, we evaluate to see if this is a good fit for you as well as modish. Unfortunately, we decided to not move forward. Thank you for taking the time to come interview and train with us. We wish you the best on all your future endeavors. When I say these jobs are so... I'm trying not to cuss. When I say these jobs are so unprofessional, y'all, I swear, and the crazy thing about it is I only really work jobs you know, like serving jobs, lounge jobs, club jobs. But I'm at the point where I don't want another job. Like both of these jobs then did me wrong. It's like, if y'all don't want to move forward with me, then cool, like, just let me know. Stop having me wait and trying to figure out because I need a job, I have bills I have to pay. I can't be just waiting on y'all, like what's going on? Never told me why they decided to not move forward with me. And the crazy part about it was y'all, when I was, you know, waiting for her to respond to let me know the days to come back. I said to myself, I said, you know what? If they don't let me back on this job, or if she, you know, if this don't, if this job don't work out, I'm not trying no more. I'm not trying. My lease is about to be up anyway. So if this job just doesn't work, I'm just not going to renew my lease and I'm just going to move forward with my life. And I'm just going to take it as a sign from God that I need to take a different route. When I say that message, like, really did something to my spirit because it was like, I was, I was, you know, kind of sad because I'm like, dang, I really did need a job. But then again, I'm like happy because now I get to pivot. Now I get to take a different route. Now I get to do something different. So I really do believe in listening i was watching this um sermon from sarah jakes it was called listening for your breakthrough or listening to the noise um and just basically listening to god when it's time for you to advance to the next level when it's time for you to move and i told my grandma i said you know what i feel like god is speaking to me and i better listen because if i don't i'm gonna miss my blessing so i could have you know kept looking for a job you know so i can renew my lease but why do that when it's clear as day that this is just not to be meant? I'm Christian, y'all know that. I'm very spiritual and religious. So I take everything as a sign. And I do truly feel like those were signs for me to move to the next level, move to the next thing. What's next for me? Because like I said, I haven't been happy here in Atlanta anyways. You know, I've been here. I've been feeling stuck here. I haven't even left Atlanta since 2021. Um, I was stuck in Atlanta all last year. I don't travel much. All I do is go to work. And y'all, I'm so sick of that. Like, I want something new and improved for my life. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I really think that that was a sign for me. And the thing is, I can't stay out here with no job. Like, if I'm saying I don't want another job, I can't stay in an apartment with no job because y'all, I make an honest living. I go in and clock in and it's a blessing to say that I didn't pay all of my bills by myself with no help. But for me to like really, you know, not depend on no man, not depend on my parents, not depend on nobody else's money, but really make an honest living, getting this shit out the mud. Like this is real work. Like y'all are looking at someone who really get this shit out the mud. I'm not out here doing anything for money. I'm out here, you know, I'm making an honest living. And it's nothing wrong to the girlies who are out there, you know, doing things for, you know, to get them by. Do what you gotta do. But baby, I'm gonna stay true to myself. I'm gonna stay real to myself. I'm gonna stay authentic to myself. And nobody's gonna make me feel bad about that. If it means that I have to take a step back, like I said this um, other YouTube video, sometimes you, as an artist, when you're up on the canvas and you're painting, you have to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. You cannot sit there and be on the big ass canvas trying to paint a picture and you can't see the whole picture. Sometimes it's gonna take for you to step back so you can see 
see the bigger picture. And right now, I'm at that point in my life where I have to step back, evaluate what's for me, evaluate what's not for me, and really get to the root of the issue and try to figure out and not even try to figure out, but just try to get to the root of the issue and try to make this next step into my purpose. Because y'all, I haven't been happy. And I'm actually so happy that those jobs didn't work out because y'all, it was going to be a lot anyway. Like with me not having a car, I'm sorry. I can't do the not having a car thing. I can't do it. Uber and Lyft prices are crazy. I'm not trying to be that type of girl. I don't know, like I've been out here in Atlanta and I haven't even been going out y'all. I've been in this house. Like it's really time for a new start for me. And that's okay. I understand that everyone's not gonna understand where I'm coming from. I understand people are gonna look at this and be like, oh, I could never do that. Oh, oh, you, you finna move back home or, and I know the title says I'm moving back home y'all, but I'm really not moving back home. I'm gonna go back home to kind of just reevaluate some things. I have haven't seen my family in over two years like like I said I've been stuck here working you know just grinding it out like right now I want to take a step back and get in touch with reality I want to you know see my family um I do plan on traveling a lot this summer you guys so stay tuned because y'all y'all never know what city I'm coming to and like I said before I'm also in between cities so you know I'm gonna take it easy during the summer and then towards fall winter I'm gonna be looking for a new apartment I might come back to Atlanta if you know acting opportunities pre present itself but i cannot just be here I and mean, really getting this shit out the mud it's going to be harder and i'm okay with hard but the thing is sometimes you got to choose your heart i can either stay here work these jobs and try to pay these bills and just keep barely getting by or i could go towards you know my goals follow my dreams follow my aspirations because that's gonna be hard too y'all know i'm trying to take out loud way more seriously and trying to build that so now i have to choose my heart because it's gonna be hard to do both it's gonna be hard to sit here and you know constantly keep working for other people feeling miserable trying to pay bills but it's also gonna be hard to build your business from ground up with little to no resources and funds like both of them are hard but if i had to choose i'm going to choose myself i'm going to choose actually going towards my big going towards my aspirations going towards my goals i'm going to choose my business and things that i want to do that makes me happy y'all i've been living so unhappy and i'm tired of it y'all i'm tired that's the reason why y'all haven't been seeing me post like that's how y'all should know like something ain't been right with jay like y'all people have literally been hit over these past like two years that i haven't really been posting this stuff people literally hit me up i kid y'all not people hit me up very often asking how are you i hope you're okay i hope all is well people know something ain't been right with me because i haven't been posting and that's not like me i've been doing youtube and social media since 2017 i always post on social media not because i'm a social media ass person but this is literally my outlet this is what i want to do and if this is something i want to do i have to make those necessary steps to do so I'm at peace. I'm at peace with the situation. I'm not gonna lie, it is bittersweet because I really don't know what's next for me. I'm at the point where I'm letting Jesus take the wheel. I'm letting God guide me. I'm not about to sit here and keep trying to control every aspect of my life because that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to, you know, cause it's easy to say, okay, go get a job. And you know, cause you know, if you go get a job and you pay your bills, you know that you're going to get your bills paid cause you've been working. You know that you're going to do that. But it's hard to sit here and take a different right, route and really trust the process and really trust in God's timing and in God's will. I don't know who I'm talking to and I don't know who can really relate to this. But I know I'm talking to myself, but I don't know who else can relate to this, but not everyone is going to relate to this. And to anybody that's out there that's battling with the decision of, you know, I don't want to let this go, you know, because I'm so comfortable. Like, y'all, I've been by myself for a minute now. Like, I don't necessarily want to, you know, have to go back home. And, you know, and I'm, I know I'm not going back home is temporary for me. I already know me. Y'all know me. Y'all know I, I don't sit nowhere for too long where I ain't happy. So, you know, it is going to be a temporary situation, but still, it is bittersweet. But it's something that needs to be done in order for me to advance to the next level. Like I said, I am deciding to move into a different city. So I also think that everything was just in divine, in divine time and like 
now my lease is up. I found out I didn't get this job. Cool. I don't have to sign my neat lease. So I gave them my notice to vacate. And, you know, I was really trying to, you know, try to figure it out to just so I can stay here. And, you know, but why should I stay in a situation where I'm not happy? Why should I stay in a place where I'm complacent and I'm not feeling purposeful? I don't want to do that no more. I'm over that. The summer, travel, have different experiences, y'all. I'm actually excited because y'all know I haven't even took my graduation trip. So I'm excited to, you know, travel, meet new people, go different places while I don't have a job, while I don't have responsibilities, y'all. I don't have kids. I don't have many friends here. I don't have a man. Well, I do have a lot of friends here. But, you know, I don't, you know, I haven't been going out, y'all. So, like, this is literally the perfect time for me to start something new. And I'm so excited. I'm, I'm at peace with it. And life happens life happens you guys understand this things do not happen for no reason and like i tell y'all all the time i'm a type of person where i will look at things so negatively the old me and this is how i know i've healed y'all the old me will be looking at the situation like dang i really gotta put my stuff in the storage and go home for a little bit and you know figure it out so Who's to say if I, cause, cause you just never know the moment that you decide to just surrender and just walk into what God has for you. You never know what's on the other side of fear. And I cannot sit here being scared like, oh, okay, let me just find another job. Cause I don't know what if I do go back home and you know, it doesn't work out and I don't get back out. No, I'm not thinking like that. I'm at peace and, and it's funny to me because the old me literally will be sitting up here crying, boo-hooing. The old me would have honestly been trying to find another job so I can't renew the lease or, you know, try to figure something out for me to stay here. But what's the point of me staying here if I, if I haven't been happy? No, I'm not doing that. Sometimes you have to pivot to your purpose. You have to pivot to your purpose and it's not going to be easy. Don't let people get in your ear. The only person you need to be listening to is what you want to do inside and also the man above. Because if he got something for me, trust and believe I'm going to go get it. I'm not going to sit here and keep playing small because that's what I've been doing, y'all. It's so I'm sitting on so many ideas that can make me so much money. And y'all know I'm used to having multiple streams of income. I've had multiple streams of income since I was in high school. I had a business. I had a YouTube channel and I was working. So I've always had multiple streams of income. But you know, y'all, y'all know I don't have my business anymore. And y'all know I haven't been the most consistent with YouTube. So the only stream of income I had was working. And that's not okay for me. So I need to regroup and pivot to my purpose. Simple. And nobody's gonna make me feel bad about it. If y'all gonna talk about it, talk about it in y'all group chats, cool. But I know that this is something that God has for me to advance me to the next level. I, I, I know it, I have a feeling, like I just got that feeling that something good is gonna happen to me. And something good is gonna come out of all of this because I'm not going through all this for no reason. I'm not going through all this for no reason. I'm not going out like that. So if that means I have to take a step back and reevaluate and get to it, I'm gonna get to it. Cause period, I want what I came for. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't invest too much time and money into my content into my dreams my goals and i'm not i'm not gonna let that go to waste so if i have to listen to god and do it his way i'm gonna be obedient because let's just be real the reason why a lot of things haven't been working out for me the way that i wanted want them to happen is because i haven't been obedient to what god wants it's always what Jakira wants, what Jakira wants. I want this right now. I want it like this. I want it like this. But it's not going to be like that. And y'all, I'm telling y'all, I have, not, like, this is how I know I feel. I don't, I never even spoke like this, y'all. I've always been in such a negative mind space because I always knew what I wanted to do at such a young age. So I'm thinking that it's going to come like this. And no, this is a part of the process. And I really wish I could have vlogged and documenting everything that I've been through over these last couple of years because a lot of y'all will be looking like, wow, like you really not giving up despite everything you're going through. Man, I don't care. I can fall down a hundred thousand times and I'm gonna get up a hundred thousand and one times and keep doing it over and over again. I don't care no more, y'all. I'm telling y'all. And when I say I don't care, I mean, I don't care what other people think. I don't care what other people got to say because at the end of the day, when it comes to it, all I got is me and the people that are willing to help me because I don't want to say that all I got is me because I do got, you know, my folks that, you know, step in and help me if needed. 
I got friends and stuff like that. But I'm just tired of waiting for something to fall out the sky. No, it, I'm finna go get it. So y'all are about to see so much more out loud content. Y'all about to see just me just embarking in this new journey. So I don't want you guys to look at this as a setback because I'm not looking at this as a setback. I'm actually looking at this as a step forward because now that I don't have the responsibility of paying all these bills, now whatever money I make, I can actually put towards my business with no worries. And so I'm super, super happy. I'm super, super excited for what's next. And I hope you guys stay tuned and just understand that everything happens for a reason nothing happens just because it decides to happen god has god works in mysterious ways god works in mysterious ways i'm telling you what to do and, and that's a blessing that's a blessing a lot of people are damn near in their 30s 40s and still don't know what they want to do in life I am blessed to know exactly what I want to do in life. So if that means I have to take a different route and take a detour, I'm going to do so because I know for a fact that this is all a part of my purpose. And so I did want to be transparent with you guys and drop this video because I do want to document everything. I want to document everything and just not even for y'all, but for me, because years from now, when I am successful and I have these multi-million dollar businesses, I want to look at myself and be like, Jakira, you really went through that, but it's all, it was all worth it. It was all worth it. I'm going to look back years from now and be like, all this stuff that I have been through really was worth it. And I'm tired of walking around here like I don't got a calling on my life, like I'm, 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 not purposeful no i got so much purpose and in, in, in a lot of things that is just aligning for me that I, I can't really speak about so um all i can say is just stay tuned um we're traveling this summer um i'm gonna do a couple videos with my family when i go back i'm actually so excited to see them i haven't seen them in almost two years so um yeah and then um towards fall winter i'll start looking for another apartment i may come back here to atlanta depending on you know what things is looking like but i might go sign another uh, year lease in another city and then come back to Atlanta. Because I know I'm going to have to come back to Atlanta for acting and media. Like, I don't see me be leaving Atlanta permanently. But I know that I just need a break right now. I need a break. I need something different. I need something new. And baby, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm 23. I ain't got no kids. I ain't got no man. I have nothing holding me back. At any given point, it's time for me to move, baby. I'm going to move. I don't care who feels what about it. I don't care who says what about it. Because at the end of the day, when I get in my bed and when I pray to God, when I write in my journal, I know why everything is happening to me. I know where I'm going in life. I know what God has for me. And even though I can't physically see it, that's why they say you walk by faith and not by sight. I can't see what God's doing. I can't tell you where I'm going to be by the end of the year. I don't know. But what I do know is I'm going to sit calm myself down, get out of this anxious depression depression stuff that I've been in, and I'm going to listen to what God is telling me because I hear him clearly now. I hear him clearer than ever. And I really did want to share this with you guys, like I said, you know, to just give you guys some motivation. And um, these are what my videos are going to be about from now on. Like, um, this is what it should have been because, you know, as y'all know, I've been doing YouTube for so long, and I really always tell people, like, all I do is make lifestyle vlogs. A lot of people ask me, well, how do you do YouTube? I can't give you a cheat code. All I do is sit up here, turn the camera on and talk. That's it. That's it. That's it. And I feel like I haven't reached my level. Um, you know, I haven't, you know, blew up on YouTube. It's because I haven't been doing what was meant for me to do on YouTube. What's meant for me is to share my story and to tell my story. And I have been holding back from you guys. I have been. That's the reason why I made the show out loud. So make sure you guys subscribe. You Y'all you, are going to see more out loud content than anything. I have the time to focus. And y'all, I'm just so at, 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 I'm just so at peace with everything. Like, 
like I said, the old me would have been sitting up here crying, mad at the world, just mad everything is not going right. But listen, when all hell is breaking loose, that just means you closer to what God got for you. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank y'all so much for watching. Um, stay tuned. I'm gonna try to get some more videos on this channel, but definitely make sure you guys subscribe to Out Loud. I'll be dropping episode five either before this drops or either after this so make sure you guys go check and watch the episodes over there love you guys so much see y'all